As the chill weather of early spring faded and warmth stretched across Asagao, I itched to go outside. With Satch's book in hand, I headed, I took to the streets. Since many people realized how rare this moment was, most of the usual benches and grassy spots were taken. I kept walking until I came to the soccer field. There was a practice game being held, and PBG and his friend Jeff were running across the field. Being a skirmish, the bleachers were almost completely empty. Students scattered the shiny metal seats, but there, were, there was more than enough room for me. In one swift motion, practiced many times over my life, I sat down, spun my backpack into the space next to me, and pulled out my book. I was nearly done with it, and I wanted to see if I could finish it today. It was due a few days ago, so I was under pressure. At a pause in my reading, I looked up to watch PBG on the field. A shock of color at the base of the bleachers caught my eye. It looked like some kind of metallic candy wrapper, and a pang of annoyance struck me. There was a trash can nearby, why litter? But as I jumped down the steps of the bleacher, and nearly slipped off one, it became Ooh. clear that it wasn't trash. The colors changed as the angle of light did. It was I mean, <laughs> yeah. some trash can be iridescent. This is true. But it wasn't trash, it was an iridescent purple figurine. Itty, bitty, and a kitty. <laughs> was it Gerard's? He was the only person I knew who collected them. I held it up to the nearest student, who shook his head. I was free for a while. Gerard was really into the IPK scene, so if it wasn't his, he'd probably know who it belonged to. One problem, I had no idea where his room was. That, that's a pretty accurate assumption, actually. Yep. If you don't know whose it is, finding someone who's part of that kind of subset is probably going to be helpful. Indeed. Conveniently, at that moment, PBG ran off the field to get a drink. I approached him, holding the kitty in front of myself like a talisman. Hey! Hey, PBG! Do you know Gerard's room number? I think he dropped this. I held the kitty up again, and it glimmered in the sun, much like PBG just now. What with all his <laughs> physical activity. <gasps> oh, Gerard was just here! It has to be his! I asked him to bring me my goalie gloves. Now, I wasn't ready to take McJones's place today. His room is right across from mine. Oh, great! Thank you so much! Hey! Doesn't she have his room number, though? I don't think so. I think Cause... he went up to his own room without her. Like, he left no, her in like, the lobby No, but he gave her... He gave her his room number. Well, he gave her a lot of contact of the... information. Yeah, at the end of the tour, he totally gave her his room number. Yeah. He yeah. gave her, and even then, she could have texted him. Yeah, she could have called his parents. <laughs> <laughs> she she could have like texted him or Facebooked him or whatever. Yeah. He, whatever she, whatever teenagers do nowadays. In this reality. <laughs> yeah, I I Skype everyone. Yeah, me Discord. too. I I don't think I've I'm I'm gonna actually see when the last person I actually text last time I actually texted anyone. Yeah, I don't That's know. That's not my parents. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, hurry it up, PBG. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no, it was just yesterday. Never mind. PBG <laughs> groaned. It wasn't much of a break. See ya. Gotta go. Good luck. He took a huge gulp from his water bottle, then poured the rest on his head and jumped back into the game. That's his... not a good idea. Yeah. Now you don't have water for later. Yeah, maybe he didn't pour all of it. You know. he, he just said the rest of it. Oh, yeah, that's true. I don't know. It's not good. PUG's a weird dude. <laughs> His teammates patted him on the back and he, as he rejoined them. I placed the IBK into my uniform's l Lilliputian? I don't... Renee? You know... <laughs> you, you want me to, to pull out all the stops on cosplay knowledge? <laughs> yeah, bring it, bring it in. What's, what is ba this? Basically, you, you know how... Some jeans have, like, an extra little pocket. Yes. Yeah. Is that. Oh, okay. I think. Because all that word means is tiny. Gotcha. <laughs> anyway, uh, and headed to Bluebell. That, that was less cosplay knowledge and more words. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As Except a... I can't words half the time, oh, no. so that's good. <laughs> well, at least I can often words. <laughs> As I entered Bluebell House, a passing boy frowned at me. Was I even allowed to enter here by myself? I shook my head. There was no time to be afraid. 
I mean, it's not like you're, like, sneaking into their bathroom or something. You're just going to show something to someone. I mean, who would would sneak into the bathroom of the other gender, right? (laughs) (laughs) Today, I had a mission. Just as PBG said, there was a door right across his room. I knocked and fished the ivy cave from my pocket. Shane answered the door, not at all pleased to see me. Um, hi Shane! How are you? He was Gerard's roommate? Why, why was he Gerard's wo- roommate? <laughs> they said that yesterday. Yeah. I tried to laugh to defuse the situation, but it was weak. I felt like I was only making things worse. I didn't know what went on in Shane's mind. He looked at the IBK in my hands. Gerard should be back in a few minutes. Okay, I'll just wait in the common room. When he gets back, can you tell him to try and find me? I could read downstairs, even if it uh, took Gerard an hour to get back. I could keep myself occupied. (sighs) Shane sighed and leaned against the doorframe. I could tell him, but it would be much easier if you waited here. Oh boy. He put his hand out, gesturing me inside. Alright, thanks. I entered the room and stood smack in the middle of it. Shane plopped into the chair in front of what must have been his desk. I sat down in what I assumed to be Gerard's chair on the opposite side. I I love the the ones on the top row there. They just look like fluffy little beams. Yes, it's true. (laughs) They they look like fluffy little beams and I want one. (laughs) Yep. Uh, Let's see here. Shane swiveled around and started to click something on his laptop. Seeing as he wasn't much for small talk, I turned to observing the room. Their room was... Well decorated, one can say. There were a lot of itty bitty kitties, each arranged neatly and with its brethren of similar design. Every empty space not filled with school related objects was covered by the pads of a cute little cat, or at least the sealed box of one. Even parts of Shane's <laughs> shelves had IBK on them. I had to admit, it was kind of endearing. Something about the dedication required was sweet. Hey! Yeah, it. I'm, I'm gonna be totally honest, it takes a lot of dedication to actually have collections of stuff. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, it it takes money and time and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, I think I've been collecting magic cards for about ooh, probably years now? Mm-hmm. Something like that. Since, since I was in high school. Yeah. And basically, like, all of the guys that I know, like, I don't, I'm not really as into it anymore. Mm-hmm. But all of the guys that I know that are still big into it, they spend a lot of money on it. Like, I think... Oh, yeah. I know a guy who he bought a box. Mm-hmm. He, he bought three boxes of the newest set. Yeah. And a box is, I think, about 200 bucks? Oh 100 bucks? Gosh. 200 bucks? I'm, I'm, I haven't bought a box in a long time. I think the last time I bought a box was... Probably... Yeah, I have some friends that uh, they they were into dual monsters, and uh, they were talking about it, and they tried to get me into it for a while, but I just straight up told them, you know, I don't, I am not interested in getting into card games. They take way too much money to, like, you know, get into and stuff, you know what I mean? I mean, there are some where you can just kind of buy a trial deck, yes, and you're okay. Probably. Like, that's how I got into Weiss Schwartz, mm-hmm. which is a super fun game, but... Yeah, most most things like Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, those ones take a lot of time and money, and yeah. And I don't want to spend a whole lot of money on that, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you collect any bitty kitties, too? Not really. They're Gerards. I don't mind. I see. It's kind of niche. I'm surprised you're into them. Oh, no, I don't collect them. I just found this one on the side of the field. PBG said Gerard was there earlier, so I came to find out whether it was his. My hastiness to disown the figure did not go unnoticed by Shane, who made a face at me. She's doing a nice thing! Yeah! That's not a whatever thing! She said they were cute! Yep. Like, she don't gotta be into it to be nice about it. This is true. If it's not Gerard's, he'll probably know whose it is, right? 
It's probably Gerard's. <laughs> I smoothed my thumb over the plastic kitty absentmindedly. Shane returned to whatever he was doing online, and I conversed with the figure in my hand. Who's a pretty kitty? Who's a pretty kitty? You are. Gerard came back about two minutes later. Hey, Shane. Hey, Shane. And Hana? Oh my god, it's that blush. <laughs> he <held> two <laughs> coffees. <was> <laughs> He held two coffees in his hand. Suddenly, he turned pink. And what are you two doing in here? Alone! <laughs> together! We're not doing anything. Hana was looking for you. Really? Really? How can I help, Hana? He gave a coffee to Shane and offered the other one to me. <laughs> here, take mine! I would have gotten you one, too, if I knew you were here. That's really nice of you, but no thanks. I just came to see if this was yours. For what felt like the tenth time in the last half hour, I displayed the itty bitty kitty. Oh wow! Oh yes! Gerard almost dropped his coffee as he leaped forward. <laughs> oh no! I lost this today. Where'd you find it? It was near the field. PBG told me you were there earlier, so I wanted to give it back to you. I handed the figure to Gerard, who looked about ready to kiss it. You're the best. Thank you, Hana. Thank you. I didn't have, you didn't have to do this, but you did. And I don't know what I would have done without you. <laughs> it wasn't any trouble at all. It looked pretty rare. They're special. It's not as rare as you would think, but it's still very special to me. I'm so glad you were able to find it. Aw. I shouldn't have been so careless. Don't beat yourself up about it. What matters now is that you have it back. Maybe zip up your pockets next time? I promise. Oh my god, those jackets have zipper pockets even? Oh man. That's amazing and I want five. <laughs> you bet I'll take a load of precautions to make sure this never happens again. He placed it delicately on the shelf with the other kitties that had the same iridescent properties. Gerard looked at me while I viewed his hard-earned assemblage. Right. Oh, duh, Gerard, you dummy. How rude of me not to let... Not to at least introduce you to my collection. Sorry. <gasps> in this room, I have 247 itty bitty kitties of every shape and size. This is the newest set, the Catastrophes. They're a band. They're really popular right now. I traded my ec my rare extras for these other day. The one you brought back to me is from a set of four that are called Opalescence. Currently, they're the only shinies. They were so pretty. My gaze fixated on them. I'm just missing the last opalescent. It's a purple one. Princess Pumpernickel. I've tried everywhere, but no one has them in stock. But there's only three copies in the world, so it's not really surprising. That's how I feel when people around me pull planeswalkers and I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's more surprising sad. that I managed to get these ones. Sad, sad day. <laughs> yeah. I have one of the most complete collections in the world. People think that the kitties company gives me the newest figures, but I earn all my IBK. I can tell this took a lot of hard work. I'm amazed at how much effort you put in. <sighs> he sighed heavily and sat down on his bed. So, if he has a bunch of extra rares, are they like a blind box pick kind of thing then? Maybe. Do you think? I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how the, the mechanics of this works, and I feel like I shouldn't even bother doing that. <laughs> I mean, I know that uh, MLP has stuff like that, so, I mean... Probably... Yeah, like, it, it feels like the, the Nendroid blind boxes to me. Yeah. That's kind of what it feels like. Because mm -hmm. I know I have a few of the the Love Live blind box Nendroids. I see. That are super, they're super adorable and super nice. But those... You, you could have multiples of the same one because you get a box that just has, okay, it's one of these X amount. Yeah, I know that there's set. certain lines of MLP that are set up that way. I don't know if that's it for all of them. In fact, I'd say that it is not that way for all of them. But Probably you know. not, <laughs> no, knowing that series. Yeah, they, it's for, like, you know, kids, so they want it to be kind of easy for them to get it and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. But I, I know with... with some figurines and stuff like that, they do blind boxes, which yeah. is not a fun thing to do. I have seen Honestly, the blind box MLP I, at my uh, at my comic book store occasionally, so yeah, I know they exist. Yeah, my, 
my local comic book store gets in a ton of different blind boxes. And I, I personally don't like that yeah. much. It's like if I want to buy a figurine, I want to buy a character that I really like mm. or things like that. Like I, um, I had bought a Persona 4 blind box one and I got my least favorite character in the series. So I had to give it to someone else. Yeah. So I was just like, okay. <laughs> Oh, that's great. <laughs> but they they ended up finding one with my favorite character. So. Oh, good. Got a resay, eh? Yeah, I got a resay. Very good. Anyway, uh, thanks, Hana. I just wish I could get that last figure. I could finish my collection and the kitties would have all their friends together in one place. I wish I could help. Don't worry about it, Hana. This is my battle to fight. <laughs> I nodded and glanced at my watch. See you later. That's how I feel when I'm opening packs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I should go. I really wanted to finish my book today, but if you ever need help, I'm here. I stood up, then waved to the both of them. Bye. Bye, Hana. Thanks again. Bye. See ya. Oh, hey, he smiled. Oh, my goodness. Thanks. We made slight progress. <laughs> yes, a little bit. Thankfully, I managed to finish my book. It took more time than I expected, though. And by the time I got back to my room, it was dark outside. When I opened the door to my dorm, to my room, the lights were off. I flicked them on, and the huddled form of Mai, hugging a stuffed purple bear, appeared on her bed. Hello. Back! Mai glanced at me, then buried her face again in her bear. Was she sulking? It was unlike her to be so energetic. <gasps> no! Mai! Mai! Um, are you okay? <clears throat> Doesn't sound very okay. Mai glanced at me again, her face a light shade of pink, like she was holding her breath. No, you can tell me anything. You've helped me out a lot, so it's the least I can do in return. Right? Besides, we're friends. My side and threw the bear on the floor, where it lay as if screaming in agony. <laughs> wow, Hana, that's dark. Yeah, she got some dark thoughts underneath all this. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, the bed falling on top of her, suffocating her to death, the bear screaming in agony. You know, all all a normal day for the inside of uh, Hannah's mind. Mm-hmm. Not fair. She sighed again. It's terrible to think like this, but even though I'm really happy for you getting to be friends with those guys, it's just not fair. Those guys? Who? The Normal Boots Club? It's just that I've been a fan of them for so long, and I've loved Jared forever. Then you come here out of the blue with your pink hair, and just like that, you're friends. She snapped her fingers in front of her face. Oh, bye. bye! You're hurting me! You're doing me a pain. But here I've been trying this whole time, and Jared didn't even know my name. Because you knew each other for a day! Yeah. You knew each other for one day. Yeah. That's kind of normal. Mm -hmm. I don't remember some people's names who I've met eight times! I don't remember <laughs> people that I've known for a year. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, there, there's this one guy that I keep meeting mm -hmm. with, like, he, he's a friend of a friend. Mm -hmm. But I meet him at every convention, and I have to ask his name every single time. Oh my god. And I think he's getting a little mad that I keep forgetting his name, and I honestly don't even remember his name right now. Oh wow, that's so sad. <laughs> I know I'm being stupid, and I feel bad, but I still... I... Right. Oh no! So we have... Well, choice. we're not gonna say the last one because no, that's mean. No, we're not gonna do that's the last so one. That's so mean. I I feel like going with the first one, honestly. Yeah. They're, they're your they're friends her... too. They're they're not really, but they're getting there. They are, and I believe they're... that they are. They're not even really Hana's friends yet. Yeah. They're they're just some guys that want to hang out with them more. I mean, you know, they're about as much uh, my friends as they're Hana's friends, so, you know. Yeah, they're, they're all still kind of acquaintances. Yep. 
You're still getting to know each other. So yeah, uh, my smiled weakly at me. It wouldn't be my friends if it wasn't for you. And everyone gets their friends because of someone else. This is true. Honestly. Pretty much, unless you're, like, I, really I... young. Yeah, unless you're, like, in kindergarten. Mm -hmm. Usually you get your friends through someone else. Yep. And besides... Hana wouldn't be friends with them without my speaking up for her. This is true. They have both utilized each other to, to obtain the friendship. And... Yeah. Yeah, they... They... They made friends through each other, and... They made friends with each other! They used so... the power of friendship to obtain friendship! It's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a paradox that's not a paradox. Yes. I I'm going to sleep. She turned over and closed her eyes without even taking off her uniform. That's how you get ring. Mm -hmm. I turned off the light and walked to the bear she threw in the middle of the room. Renee? I, I, oh, I'm sorry too. I, I said it quietly, <laughs> but even as the words left my lips, I knew they were a lie. Alright, I think that that's a good place to call it for now. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, hey, let's think... look at the journal. Oh boy, we're on day X. <laughs> oh boy. That's not ominous. <laughs> uh, let's... Actually, I think they just, after the week, yeah. they just go with X, Y, Z. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Are Paul and Jared really friends? They seemed really angry during that fight. Paul's so sincere about being student council president. It must be really important to him. I never pegged him for a bleeding heart, but it's kind of cute. Usually and... people who want to be in politics are not bleeding hearts. Yeah. I'm sorry, Hana. I'm sorry to disillusion you there, but... <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> How can Gerard have such confidence with his IBKs? I don't even want to talk about Shane. Then, uh, oh yeah, that was the day that they they broke into the Oh yeah. Club. So that's why she doesn't want to talk about it. Yep. Dear Diary, video games are surprisingly fun. I mean, I know I liked to play them uh, when I was a kid, but now I'm wondering what would have happened if I had access to them after I moved. If we You would have had a way better childhood. Yeah. If we weren't so poor, would I be competing too? Would I be making them? Of course not, that's silly. But it makes me kind of bitter. I guess I'm glad I'm finally getting to experience them now. I might ha never have known. Well, you wouldn't be making video games, you're still in high school. Yeah, I mean, there are some people who make video games in high school, probably, but like... Actually, I made video games in high school. Me too. <laughs> I, I took a course to do it, actually. I did not take a course, but I had a game maker, and I actually made a little, like, uh, floaty shooting game. I made a, a dumb platformer that didn't make it out of the testing phases, but it nice. worked! I had the core enough. mechanics down of my floaty shooting game, but I made like one level for it. It worked enough to pass the class! Good. <laughs> Very good. Anyway, uh, is Mai really mad at me? She seems fine now, but it's not my fault that the New Boots guys like me. There isn't. Everything special always happens to me. Maybe Mai's right, and there's something about this main character deal I don't understand. <gasps> I, I love how meta they get with this game, but also not meta. Yeah. Like, they, they dangle the tropes in front of you, but they don't 100% break the fourth wall. This is true, except Mai. Yeah, but Mai is different. Yes, Mai is Mai, different. Mai is special and perfect and precious, and why do bad things keep happening to her? Yes, exactly. Well, maybe we'll figure that out next time. With that said, I'm Mr. Game Pie. And I'm Renee. And we'll see you then. Goodbye, Bye. everybody.